It is written, a wise man seeks that which does most good for him. To illustrate, inscribed in the memory of man is the wisdom of the great Prince Chang. He wanted a wife possessed of great beauty, unquestioned charm, many talents, and a pleasant disposition. So he issued a proclamation and maidens flocked from far and near and they were all confident they could win the prince's favor. Some, skilled in domestic sciences, had the charm of a dot. Some, beautiful as the dawn, had the voices of crows, shrill and ugly. Some, with great talent in many things, were ugly as witches and dragons. But of them all, one, the magnificent Tiali, shone forth. Her beauty flamed as the sunset. Her gentleness was that of the moon upon the water. Her voice, that of the nightingale. And her form made men forget to breathe. In her, Chang had found that which all men seek, few men find the perfect spouse. Time proved this so, and the reign of Chang and Tiari remains in history as a golden age. Thus, my humble tale indeed proves that wise man seeks that which does most good for him. Is it not so? <laughs> yes, wise way too, that's true. And that's why Dodge job-rated trucks are more profitable to their owners, because they do the most for their owners. Dodge trucks are job-rated to give their owners more payload, more rapid deliveries, more economical operation. Those are the features that count with truck owners. All right, look, mister, I've driven trucks and I've bought trucks. I'd like to see you prove this job-rated business. It's a pleasure, my friend. Let's do it by comparing Dodge job-rated trucks with Ford trucks. Both of them in the half and three-quarter ton range and in pickup, panel, express, and stake bodies. Okay, mister, but I'm warning you. Don't pull any tricks. I'm going to be watching you like a purchasing agent with a galloping ulcer. The closer you watch, the better I'll like it. So let's begin by actually charting a comparison of Dodge and Ford payloads. Will that satisfy you? Yeah, if you've got the figures. All right. To begin with, Dodge provides two half-ton pickups, a high side and a low side model, while Ford offers one model only. And Dodge's maximum payload is greater in both models. Yes, Dodge offers two half-ton pickup payload ratings. 1,600 pounds and 1,500 pounds against Ford's single 1,480 pounds. And now let's compare panels. The Dodge half-ton panel truck carries more payload. It's rated at 1,425 pounds of payload, while the Ford half-ton panel is rated at only 1,330 pounds. Dodge offers more payload in three-quarter ton express, too. The High Side Express has 2,275 pounds rated payload, and the Low Side Express, 2,400 pounds. Ford's F2 three-quarter ton Express carries a maximum payload of only 1,948 pounds. Again, in stake trucks, Dodge has more maximum payload than Ford. The Dodge three-quarter ton stake carries 2,100 pounds, as against Ford's 1,828. I think that's the evidence you wanted. Dodge carries more payload in all four models, the half-ton panel and pickup, the three-quarter ton express and stake. And remember, it's payload that makes the profit for truck owners. Not so fast, buddy. 
Let's hear something about volume and area. You know, capacity. That's what counts with big light loads. I was coming to that, friend. Listen to this. The Dodge half-ton panel has 11 cubic feet more capacity space than Ford. The Dodge half-ton high side pickup has nearly five and a half cubic feet more capacity than Ford. The three-quarter ton stake provides nearly one and three-quarters square feet more area than Ford. And it's in only one model, the three-quarter ton Express, that Ford offers a capacity approximately equal to Dodge. But remember, in this model too, Dodge carries substantially more payload. Now I ask you, mister, which is the better buy for payload, in weight or cubic capacity, Dodge or Ford? It's Dodge, all right, for sure. But look, to make money, you've also got to have low upkeep, safety, maneuverability, performance, driving comfort, and so on. That's right, mister. You want the facts on which truck is more profitable to buy. And it's a comparison we're glad to make. For example, for long life and rugged service, the horizontal slat of the Dodge panel is made of steel, but on the Ford, they're wood. Then, for body strength and rigidity, Dodge has four upright pillars, which are steel, but Ford has only three, and one of those is made of wood. For longer body life, the Dodge panel truck has three roof bows, while Ford has only two. Now, looking down on the Dodge panel, you can see how the full-length running board and rear fender protect the body from accidents, while the Ford body is open for sideswipe damage. Also, the Dodge fender is a separate unit, not part of the body, and even if it crumpled, damage would most likely not reach the body. But a blow on a Ford integral fender can damage the body, even though the body isn't actually hit by the blow. And the Dodge pickup and express bodies have sturdier, more functional fenders. Fenders a man can stand on. So, all in all... What do you mean, all in all? You haven't talked about anything but bodies so far. How about where the driver sits, though? Inside the cab. A good point. Let's take a look at cab size first and see where three men, a driver and two helpers, can sit most comfortably. These three men can be most comfortable in the Dodge Pilot House cab because the Dodge seat in both the half and three-quarter ton jobs is a full five inches wider than Ford's. Five inches can be the difference between comfort and jamming. To provide greater comfort and driving ease, the seat of the Dodge can be adjusted five and a half inches. This is a full two and a half inches better than Ford. Now for extra safety, the Dodge Pilot House cab windshield is big, bigger than Ford's by 263 square inches. Then too, Dodge's larger windshield wipers make even bad weather driving safer than in a Ford. In the Dodge, you don't have to crane your neck to see to the left or right. And the Dodge defroster vents run almost the full width of the windshield, so winter driving is safer than in a Ford. Incidentally, that Ford one-piece windshield can be expensive to break. It costs more than one side of the Dodge two-piece windshield. So, in either the one-half or three-quarter ton trucks, I think you'll agree the Dodge cab has plenty of plus values that far outshine Ford. They're values that make for greater safety, comfort, ease of handling, and more profits. And so far, you've only heard the half of it. Now, as you know, a profit-minded truck operator wants a reliable, dependable engine with low upkeep and operating costs. Let's see how Dodge compares with Ford in this respect. To begin with, the Dodge engine gives greater economy because it has a higher compression ratio, seven to one, while Ford's is only 6.8 to one. What's more? The Dodge floating oil intake gives added dependability because it draws in only clean oil from just below the surface, protecting the Dodge engine from sludge and dirt. Ford's oil intake is fixed near the bottom of the crankcase, where sludge and dirt can accumulate. Then in addition, Dodge's two fuel filters give better protection against dirt, which may come in with a gasoline. Ford has only one fuel filter. 
Also Dodge, but not Ford, has a water distributing tube which cools the exhaust valve seats. Thus Dodge owners benefit from cooler, longer lasting exhaust valves, which give higher engine efficiency. For better starting, Dodge provides a higher capacity generator, 45 amps, which keeps the battery fully charged regardless of extra lights and the heater. Ford has only a 35 amp generator. And speaking of the battery, Dodge's battery is located in an easy to get at spot under the cab floor, where it gets greater protection from heat. While Ford's battery is under the hood, a location which it and makes it hard to get at. And notice that the Ford has a front opening hood, so that it's difficult for mechanics or servicemen to reach under the hood near the back. The Dodge hood opens from the side, so that it's easy to get at the engine for routine service. This means the Dodge owner saves both money and time in engine service. Because the Dodge hood is rigidly braced down the center from the cowl to the grill, the whole front end is sturdy and rattle free. The Ford hood does not have this center bracing. Okay, now do you see why we say the Dodge gives lower upkeep and maintenance costs and greater dependability than Ford? Yeah, that's okay as far as you've gone. But look, I do a lot of city driving. How about easy handling? How do Dodge and Ford stack up? It's Dodge again, my friend. Let's check some chassis features. Take wheelbases. In both the half ton and three quarter ton classes, Dodge wheelbases are six inches shorter than those of Ford. The Dodge shorter wheelbases help provide easier maneuvering and driving, which means the Dodge truck can do more work per day. Another reason why a Dodge is easier to drive is the Dodge cross steering, which permits the same turning angle for either left or right turns, a definite aid to maneuverability. Ford needs more space for left turns than for right. On left turns, Dodge half-ton trucks have a turning diameter that is shorter than Ford's by six and three-quarter feet. On right turns, Dodge is shorter by six and one-quarter feet. Yes, the Dodge turning diameter is shorter than Ford by eight feet on a left turn and five and a half feet on a right turn. Hey, that's okay. Being able to turn that short means the Dodge driver can get around faster and make more deliveries. Sure, and that's only part of the Dodge chassis advantages. Now you probably know that a loaded truck carries most of its weight on the rear axle. So don't you think the rear wheels should have extra braking power? Well, uh, sure. Then you'll be interested to know both Dodge models use dual cylinders on rear wheel brakes. This provides a cylinder for each brake shoe. However, Ford provides only one cylinder for both shoes, and therefore does not provide the extra braking force that Dodge gives. And I don't think you can beat Dodge Cycle Bond brake linings for long wear, because they're bonded to the shoe and not riveted like Ford's. Dodge linings have one third more usable thickness. What's more, on the half-ton Ford, the parking brake works through the regular rear wheel brakes. However, on the Dodge, the parking brake is independent. It operates on the drive shaft. Therefore, the Dodge driver has extra protection in case of emergencies. And then, too, the Dodge owner benefits from longer lining life. Wear on the Dodge parking brake can only occur while the parking brake itself is applied. Of course, with Ford, wear occurs whenever the regular brakes are used. And now, here's big news on the new Dodge chassis. Two important new Dodge features that cannot even be approached by Ford. Let's take shock absorbers first. Dodge and Dodge alone provides Auriflow shock absorbers, which are a Chrysler Corporation exclusive. They give a truly astounding improvement in riding comfort and load protection, especially for fragile loads. You see, Auriflow shock absorbers automatically adjust to road conditions. Consequently, they give a wonderfully smooth ride on rough roads as well as on normal roads. And then there's another important Dodge exclusive. Dodge Gyro Fluid Drive, one of the greatest design features ever offered on a truck. You see, Fluid drive forms a fluid coupling between the engine and the clutch. The engine power is actually cushioned by oil. With fluid drive, 
The driving power of the engine is applied with smoothness that's never been equal before. This makes a difference in operation you've got to experience to believe. Fluid drive saves wear and tear and greatly improves the life of more than 80 drive line parts from the clutch right on back to the rear tires. What's more, fluid drive makes a tremendous improvement in driving ease because there's less gear shifting. The Dodge can be slowed down to a very low speed and accelerated again without jolting or jerking. At stoplights, you can stop, shift to second, and idle in gear, and then start off smoothly in second gear. And when you stop on a hill, you can hold the truck steady with a slight touch on the accelerator instead of having to keep your foot jammed on the brake. What's more, fluid drive lets you start up that hill smoothly without the quick jerk you can get when you shift your foot from the brake to the accelerator, as you must do in the Ford. You see what this adds up to? Fluid drive makes driving easier and less fatiguing, so the drivers can make more calls per day with less strain. In addition, fluid drive protects the truck by reducing drive line wear. And finally, fluid drive gives wonderful additional protection for fragile loads. I think you'll agree with me that these fluid drive features all combine to save money and improve operation for Dodge truck owners. And remember, you can get fluid drive only on Dodge. It's available on half ton, three quarter ton, and one ton trucks. Sounds good all right, but how about the other chassis parts? Clutch, springs, and so on. Dodge is superior in all those units. For example, in the half tons, the Dodge standard clutch has 15 square inches more frictional area than Ford. And that really means something in greater clutch life. And then too, Dodge front springs are six inches longer than Ford's, while the rear springs are seven inches longer. That extra length gives extra comfort and load protection. And finally, Dodge provides extra comfort through the way the front spring shackles are located at the rear of the front spring. Rear shackle springs flatten and absorb road shocks, but front shackle springs, like Ford's, transmit shocks through the steering mechanism to the driver. You see now why we confidently claim that Dodge is more comfortable than Ford? Well, I agree you proved your comfort story, all right. All right, then. I guess we've proved Dodge superiority in every feature that counts with truck owners. Because already, We've shown that Dodge gives more in payload, in volume and capacity, in dependable construction, more in safety and comfort than Ford. We've proved that Dodge provides easier handling, smoother operation, and that you can expect longer truck life than Ford. In other words, we've proved that Dodge does more for truck owners than Ford. Yes, my friends, that brings us back to the opening thought. That wise man seeks that which does most good for him. If indeed this be true, as I believe, then would a man not be wise if he selected Dodge trucks, since proof exists that they will do the most for him. <laughs>